Challenges are challenging. Challenges present challenges. Ch the word challenge. I got big trouble in little China. I just want to sit down and have a little conversation today, a little check-in. It is October 21st, and I guess I just wanted to go over a couple of things that I've noticed with uploading every day since October 1st. Uh, so let me get into it. Uh, the first thing that I will touch on or that I've noticed is yes, like the intro said or like the opening said, um, I have to constantly remind myself that uploading or vlogging or creating something every single day for 30 days, um, it is a challenge. And sometimes it's easy for me to forget the word challenge is in there. And I don't know if you're anything like I am, but oftentimes struggling for me is never really the largest or the biggest struggle. It's beating myself up over the struggle itself and kind of further compounding the challenge or the struggle or the tough time. For example, uh, in this case, this month, I've had several days where I've been so frustrated at brainstorming or going back to my notes or just thinking like, what do I want to shoot today? What do I want to make today? What do I want to say today? And if I'm not feeling it, if I've got a headache, if I feel kind of sick, if I'm overtired, I got a lot going on outside of this. Um, I get further frustrated because I start to tell myself like, well, you don't have this going on. You don't have that going on. Like it's a lot harder for other people. And so it's almost like I'm manufacturing guilt with the fact that it's just like, instead of just identifying the struggle or the challenge that day or how I feel so I can release it, I get further frustrated with the fact that, um, I'm struggling, right? So it's, it's like up here, I make it worse instead of just identifying the feeling, releasing it, and moving forward, um, I beat myself up over the fact that I have that feeling to begin with anyway. So I'd say that this month so far, trying to upload daily has been a challenge, but the real challenge, and I keep using that word, unfortunately, the real struggle is reminding myself that it, like, it's okay right? It's called the challenge for a reason. It's not supposed to be easy. I'm trying to test myself. I'm trying to push myself. And if I have days where I feel like shit or days where I'm just not feeling it, the point is, is to hit record and hit upload anyway. And I think just kind of learning to exhale and push away a little bit and just relax and say like, yeah, today was tough. Today was challenging. Today's video was 90 seconds long. That's all I had in me. That's got to be okay, right? Otherwise, I'm not going to accomplish this. Um, and then the second thing, the second little quick observation sort of at the halfway point of this challenge or two-thirds of the way through at this point. I mentioned in the first video at the start of this challenge this idea of trying to thicken my skin because if I want to be a working professional starting off freelance and charging people money, for a product, for a short film, for a video, for a little 20 second spot, whatever it is, I need to be okay with criticism and feedback, right? And I think what's really interesting about the YouTube space and kind of online in general is you're bombarded with people's unsolicited feedback. And there's a couple schools of thought here and I can actually hear some of my friends right now and what they would say to this is you're putting your work, your picture, your video, your words on the internet. What did you expect? And I think that that's different. I think that it doesn't necessarily, at least for me, I don't feel brave because I upload videos to YouTube. But what I do think is interesting is the more feedback I get privately, so phone calls, text messages, you know, again, could even be words of encouragement the more of that that I receive, the harder and harder it is for me lately, especially this month, to not constantly think when I turn a camera on, I can immediately picture all of the people watching this. Like I know them. 
The majority of comments and feedback that I receive on my channel is not from strangers. It's not from like anonymous followers that, or subscribers that sort of pick me up organically along the way. I'd say somewhere probably over 90% of the feedback I get is from people I know. I either used to work with you, I used to be friends with you or very close friends with you. I'm still very close friends with you. You could be family, um, ex coworkers. It just goes really kind of on down the line. And I realized this month where a lot of my struggle comes in is I caught myself two or three times saying in the brainstorming process or even when I just have the camera in my hand, I've caught myself saying, I wish I created this channel anonymously. I'd rather have 20 people subscribe to my channel who I do not have any idea who you are. And you could, all 20 of you could leave terrible comments down below or constantly dislike every video. But when I go to create the next video, I'm not thinking about you because I don't know who you are. And it's really kind of interesting, you know, when I say this out loud and I've talked to a couple of people about it, they kind of go to the same place where they're like, well, you need to toughen up and you need to not care. And it's not because I'm receiving negative feedback. It's not because I'm receiving criticism or constructive criticism. When I'm looking into the camera or I'm recording into a microphone or I'm sitting down in front of my editor or I'm hitting upload or I'm writing down ideas that maybe I'd like to flesh out or I'd like to make, um, it's hard not to picture the people on the other end of that video watching it because I know them. And I guess it's just kind of an interesting observation after, what is it, 20 videos so far uh, this month that I didn't realize was a thing before. When, when I, in the past, have gone a few months between uploads, no matter how personal the project is, and I have a few that are very personal to me, I never really sat there and thought to myself, gee, I wonder what this person's gonna think. I mean, I made a video uh, on divorce and this might sound strange or shocking, but I never once thought to myself, what will my ex-wife think when she sees this? I just didn't think about that. And I think maybe I wasn't creating often enough uh, to, to, to have that kind of enter into my process. But anyway, so it's really just those two observations I wanted to share. Just a quick and dirty video today, kind of like a, progress report, sort of observations, which I have a whole list of in my journal that I'm um, making or noticing this month so far. So I'm excited to kind of, this is like the, I feel like I'm in the back nine of this challenge and um, I am gonna continue forward and hopefully I meet that, meet that goal of the 30 videos in 30 days. And then I'd like to do a longer video, a little bit more fleshed out of what I noticed, um, good, bad, indifferent, whatever. So yeah, that's all I got. Thank you for watching today. And I love you. <laughs> I'm all alone today. Pearl's very busy. It's a Pearl-free episode. Wait, is she here? Yo, Puck jumps the boogie while the bees with a black hoodie and baggy jeans. Got that heat for the rap fiends. Put rats and queens, cats in the streets. To the brothers who practice their team. The scene, scene, rain, supreme, clean the scene.